Well, good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. Hope everyone had a great weekend. It is April the 20th. We're going in and checking your daily task assessment and your homework practice before you take your daily quiz. Please be sure to check your daily task assessment and your homework and practice regular <coughs> excuse me regularly before you take your quizzes. Uh, I am seeing a drop in scores for some of you and I will be getting with those of you on a need to know basis. We're looking at 14.5 of multiplication comparison and let's take a look at what we have here so far. If we take a look at this one, this is Karen has two blue hats, three green hats and one red hat. Okay. Jonathan has three times as many hats as Karen, which expression represents the number of hats that John Jonah has compared to Karen. So what you have to do is you have to add Karen's. 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So it's 3 times more than 6. Joseph dog weighs 10 pounds. Shonda's dog weighs 5 times as many pounds as this Joseph's dog, which expression, expression represents this, the weight Shonda's dog compared to Joseph's dog. Well, this is it right here. 5 times 10. Okay. The next one is a logic question. So Juan has 21 pretzels. Eric's pretzels can be represented by 6 times as many as 21. Which comparison statement describes the expression? Eric, said, Eric has 6 more. That's not correct. It's 6, six more. Juan has 21 more pretzels. That is still this. Eric has six times as many as Juan's pretzel because we know Juan has 21. Six times as many pretzels as Juan. And Juan has fewer than subtraction. That's not going to be good. So your answer is right here. Hope you did well on that one. That one is just a logic question. Your test prep. Which comparison describes the multiplication expression? Eight more. We know that eight more is not eight more or less. Those are addition and subtraction. Eight times as many as four. And if you remember the earlier lessons that emphasized, that was emphasized straight up right there. So we take a look at drawing the model here. We remember from the first lesson, four times as many as seven. We know this number is the one that goes in the bottom. And there's four of them. And it's four times seven. Five times five times as many as three. We know three is in the bottom, and there's five of them. So it's five times three. Notice we don't have a product. We don't have the product because these are expression expressions. Okay, the next ones we're describing them. Seven times as many as six, eight times as many as five, three times as many as eight, nine times as many as two. Those were easy for you. I know you did very well on those. The next one is logic. We're using logic here. So Tony, the toy store has four times as many whistles as yo-yo. So these are the yo-yos. There's 12 of them. So your multiplication multiplication expression will be four times as many whistles. And you get the number four times as many whistles as yo-yos. Okay, so how many yo-yos do you have? 12. Good four times as many whistles as yo-yos. So the next one is write a comparison statement about the wind-up ducks that could be described using the expression 8 times 5. So the ducks, there's five of them. So a possible answer, the toy is, it's, has something more than or ten times as many as, as the wind-up duck so you could use anything any other the store has 10 times as many dolls as wind up ducks uh, the toy store has 10 times as many marbles or anything that has to do with with you uh, adding 10 times as many as the wind up ducks the next one the toy store has eight times as many as soccer balls than um, as spinning tops write the multiplication expression to represent the number of soccer balls soccer balls are what what to say? Eight times as many, and how many tops do you have? Three spinning tops. So eight as many, eight times as many as three. So that was easy for you. Hopefully you did okay. I am using a new computer right now. 
my old laptop gave away so I'm still it's giving me a little problem right here so we're going to look at number 10 uh, Evelyn sells five boxes of greeting cards Sam sells three times as many as Evelyn which expression he sells three times as many as Evelyn three times five and look look at these addition subtraction and then this is not even close Caitlin collects six bottle caps for a prize Jen collects four times as many bottle caps as Caitlin which is four times as many as Caitlin <coughs> excuse me the next one Farrah has 18 crayons John's crayons can be represented by two times as many as 18 and I just said the answer right there two times as many as 18 and look the, this one starts with 18 that's not right the ones that have two that start with two have more and fewer then the next one Justin writes the multiplication expression 3 times 9 which comparison statement describes the expression 3 times as many as 9 and again more more and fewer are incorrect you should already have found the pattern of what they're trying to do more and more and fewer okay the next ones we have the multi-step ones Bev has five books she buys three more books Dell has three times as many so you have to add the number of books that Bev buys so she has eight and Dell has three times as many as eight three times as many as eight so the key was adding these two Ryan has five crayons he gets four more so won't you add those two so now he has nine and Cindy has six times as many crayons so here you go six times as many the key is adding those two this was a very very uh, easy section for you hopefully we can start speeding this up so you can get through some of these easier sections it all depends on the amount of work that we have I don't want to overwhelm you keep in mind you don't have to send me copies of these or upload or take pictures of these anymore I'm still seeing some of you uploading them they I don't need to see those because I'll know how you do when you take your quiz now I will be asking some of you randomly can you show me these uh, pages but it'll be during when we're having the uh, live streaming sessions so you still have to do them because you're going to get checked randomly so that concludes our lesson for today I hope everyone has a great morning and I'll see you soon for now this is Mr. Lopez signing off